Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the software engineering geek, and today we're going to be talking about Git rebasing. So sit back, open up your mind, and let the knowledge flow in, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, this time we're going to be talking about Git Rebase. Uh, what Git Rebase allows you to do is actually kind of rewrite history. Um, it can be very dangerous. Uh, you can lose commits. Um, there is ways to get them back, and I'll show you how to do that and you know how to deal with some of the errors that could crop up. Um, we're going to work with our test repo. Um, the thing I'd say about rebase is it's very powerful. Uh, I tend to stay away from it just because it's so powerful that you can screw things up if you don't know what you're doing. But that being said, uh, it does allow you to kind of just rewrite history kind of the way you want it. Uh, the thing is, when you do that, it changes the commits, kind of like when you do reset and, you know, start you know, going back or amending commits, you know, it changes the SHA numbers because you have different history. So when you do this, if you're going to rebase, uh, make sure you're doing it on, you know, commits that you have not pushed to a public repository yet or, you know, something that someone hasn't has not pulled from you yet because otherwise you will get into trouble with, you know, merge conflicts and stuff along those lines and things, you know, repositories that just won't line up anymore. So let's start. We'll go to get K first and I'm going to uh, rebase. I'm going to actually start it from here, which I believe it doesn't include this commit. It just includes the commits above it. But and we're going to paste that and go back. And we're going to do a get rebase. I'm going to do dash i for interactive. Oop, dash i. I if I can type. <laughs> get our SHA. Paste that in here, hit enter, and that's going to bring up this window, which this window, uh, as you can see, it gives us those commits that were above this one. Uh, I believe it's in reverse order, if I remember correctly, and uh, we get a whole bunch of uh, commands that we can do. So we can pick a commit, meaning we're going to carry it over. We can reword it which means uh, that we'll edit the commit message. Uh, we can edit it, which means uh, rebase will stop intermittently and allow us to actually edit that particular commit and, you know, recommit it. We can squash it, meaning squashing, you know, say we wanted these two commits to become one commit, we could do that. Uh, fix up, which is like squash, but discards the commit message reading exactly what's on the screen <laughs> and we can actually execute commands uh, I don't do a lot of this but uh, let's say uh, we want to get rid of that commit what we can do is just uh, omit it and that commit is gone from history we'll say that uh, we want to take this commit and we can actually rearrange these commits, uh, which can actually create problems in and of itself. Uh, that can definitely create merge conflicts. And I think uh, when I ran, it did a dry run of this before, I did come off with a merge conflict. So we'll see how this actually comes out. And we'll what we'll do is we'll take this one and change it to edit. And we'll... Uh, Let's see, I'm not sure how this squash is going to work. Uh, let's let's just go with that for now. So we'll just save that, and we'll close this, and 
let's see what it said error making changes hint resolving conflicts so we're in the emerge state so we'll do a get merge tool and we're going to use meld and it shows us okay we have this conflict between these two versions uh we'll choose this version and we'll go with that okay we'll say that looks like what we want it to be and we'll close this okay let's see what it says here so what did to do merge we did the merge object assertion blah 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 let's see where we're at get um gui so we have that missing four so we'll commit that and then I believe we can do a get rebase dash dash continue to continue on. You could also do a dash dash abort to back out, but we're going to continue on. And uh, had another conflict. So get merge, merge, merge tool meld okay we want this one so that's that's the thing with this is you know you can get into these conflicts so get GUI and commit nothing to commit okay get uh, let's just Use our history and let's see error hit run okay so merge tool getting lots of merge tool fun because you know we completely rearrange things which, as I said, you know, depending on what you're doing can cause issues. GUI. All right, so there's nothing to commit. So we're going to continue again and successfully rebased. So this is rebased. Now, the other thing with rebase is when you do a rebase, it actually lines all the commits up right in a row. So you won't see any of those merges anymore when I go to get K. Everything now is right straight in a line. Uh, I don't remember what it was that we actually lost here, but we did actually we did delete one of those commits and we completely rearranged things. So if you're in this state and all right, you think, oh crap, I deleted that, um, and you want to get it back. The only way that I know how to is through get, I think it's ref log, I'm not if it's sure if it's, yeah, it's one word. And here we have a history of, you know, the different uh, commits that, you know, we have. So commit, commit for... Check out master cherry pick blah blah blah. Uh, I don't I don't know what it was, but you know we could do you know a get show and see what this commit actually contained and say that's what it was. Um, let's see what could we do with that. We could do a get cherry dash pick that which actually creates a merge conflict so let's say that is what we lost and we want to bring it back so we'll do the merge tool and you know we'll be like okay we wanted this one and we want that so you know we bring that back and then we'll do a get 
GUI and uh, how can I commit something that's not committable? It's very strange. Okay, get cherry pick resolved get st so let's see okay it's still in a cherry pick get cherry I wonder if you can continue on this no, apparently not. Okay. Get. Add. Test two dot. T. Okay. Weird. Get see if this will get me out of this. No, nope. okay. So get parry is now empty, possible due to conflict resolution. If you wish to commit anyway. Use get commit allow empty commit. Okay, or we can reset, but we want to allow the empty commit, which I don't particularly like. But okay, adding removing. So it's our commit message. Get K. Let's see what change. So Fix the conflict. Here's the actual commit. So that is strange that it left us in a state like that, but yeah, that's well, that's bringing things from a ref log. So, you know, I brought that commit back from the dead. Um, get ref log. So, this is, you know, whenever you actually make a change and get. You know, this is where it kind of keeps its history right here, so you can pull things back from the brink. Um, but we'll get, bring up Get GUI just for a second. I don't know why this is still in there, but you know, it's just to kept that message around. But anyways. Uh, sometimes what will come up is uh, the compressed database and if you compress the database I believe you lose some of the history after a while uh, I don't know how long it stays around but let's check out the ref log now and there might not be anything in there so let's try that again Again. Oh, no, there are still things in there. Just seem to be taking its sweet time. So I, I believe it's like after so many weeks, they kind of fall off the edge, especially if you do compresses. So the, the ref log doesn't last forever. Keep that in mind. Uh, but it is something that allow you to bring back things if you lose them in a rebase. But I'd also say rebase, again, is very powerful, can be destructive. But it can be nice to go back sometimes if you want to just, like, edit the commit message. It's like, oh, I made that stupid commit message. But it's not the last commit message. Like, you know, you can do amend with uh, get GUI. So, you know, it does give you some power and flexibility. But, again, use with caution. And that's pretty much all for now. I'll see you next time.